impact that I want to have in this industry is in two parts. I want to make sure that by the time I leave, our Ghanaian players out there are getting the sort of recognition, you know, this, the sort of reception, and just basically the coverage that they do deserve and that they're not left in the cold because what people forget is that they're playing in other countries and journalists in those countries would always prioritize players from their countries and so who is their voice who is standing up for them my name is Ray Grampo for class of 2018 computer science my first job after Chelsea was working as a sports journalist with the multimedia group uh, that specifically Joy News and then Joy FM right now I'm still a sports journalist, but this time with Media General, specifically with TV3 and 3FM. So I've been passionate for uh, sports for a very long time, since childhood, since 12 years, if I remember. I used to play a lot. Uh, at a point, I wanted to go pro before I you know, got into a chassis. Uh, but when I got to a chassis, that's when everything changed. You know, before I got to school, my dad told me that it's quite unfortunate that you couldn't play professionally, but the umbrella and the football is really large and you don't necessarily have to only play. There are other roles that you can look at. And so that's the mindset that I came into a chassis with. And so once I came in after my first year, you know, I just wanted to focus on my education, get a solid grounding in terms of a GPA. And then after that, I'll be able to explore. So in my second year, I started looking around. And during summer school, I remember there was one time where I met a young man called Benjamin Epton. He was my senior. And he asked me, the way you like football, do you think it's possible you can write as well? And I was like, eh, I don't really like writing a lot. And he was like, maybe you should try your hands on it. So he gave me a specific assignment. I tried my hands on it. And he said, that, wow, this is great. Uh, I should join you know, their startup, which was basically a, a sports website by a Chelsea students that they had created. It was called Ghana Fans at the time. And so I became a contributor. I was writing frequently and one day I was on Twitter and I got a message from you know, one of the biggest sports journalists in this country, Redwan Ibai Masante, who used to be with Joy FM. And he messaged me that he liked an article that I wrote on Baba Rahman and so I should keep on going. At that point, I didn't have any connection with Joy, but it gave me that encouragement that I needed to keep on pushing. So I'm going to pick two projects that I've enjoyed during my time as a sports journalist. The first one I wouldn't really describe as a project, but I think it was a turning point uh, because that was when I decided how I'm going to differentiate from the market. You know, I wanted to apply a bit of my computer science and use data and focus on Ghanaian players, uh, how to elevate them uh, with what they are doing well. And so that's what I've been doing for the past four or five years. And that led into the second project that I'm proud of because um, that's the World Cup and the fact that I was able to differentiate myself put me out there not just you know in Ghana but globally and I was able to get the chance to work with international brands that I never dreamt of and so I, was, I worked with you know Opta uh, they are the world's leading uh, aggregator and collector of data for sports not even just for football so having the opportunity to work with them during the World Cup uh, was a dream come true. I also had the chance to work with Flasco. Uh, they also collect live data uh, during football games for the World Cup. And they are also, you know, really big, have more than 12 million followers and, you know, downloads globally. And so working with them also uh, is one thing that I'm really proud of. Uh, but it all goes back to the point where I said to myself that I had to do something different uh, in this industry. Whenever I do something right or do something good, people ask me what school I went to. And I say, Ashesi, and they come up with comments like they're not surprised. They're like, oh, that's why. I think it's, it's good to know that, you know, the school that you went to uh, have people, you know, identifying alums with certain characteristics, which are definitely good. And so I think that is part of the advantage uh, that we do have as, you know, alumni in general. But personally, I think that the Ashesi advantage has to do with the fact that no matter where you find yourself, you are able to stand out. First off, I think is the courage because I feel to reach a certain level, you need to be bold and you need to have some level of self-confidence, which only comes from an environment like Ashesi, an environment that challenges you. 
whatever you do, whatever you, you know, embark on, people are able to see the difference. And I think essentially you stand out and that's the advantage that we have as students or alumni. <laughs>